Hi, I'm Phil Harder. We're here in Northeast Minneapolis at the Ritz. Um, I shot a music video here 10 years ago, 1997, for Tanya Donnelly called The Bright Light. And uh, the Ritz at that time was an abandoned old theater. Um, as you see now, it's all done. We're having a dance show here, so we're being a little quiet. But um, a lot's changed in those 10 years. And tonight we have a snow emergency, so we're going to walk outside, take a look at this little block in northeast Minneapolis, 13th and 3rd. Let's go ahead. Can you get the door? All right. So here we are under the marquee of the Ritz. And when we shot the video, there was a different marquee here. It was like a 1950s marquee, I think. And because the whole theater was abandoned, we had to uh, tap into the power, and we actually got the marquee lit up. And that marquee hadn't been lit up for maybe uh, 20 years or so. And a whole bunch of neighbors showed up on that day. They all were across the way over here where this uh, bobcat is cleaning snow. And everybody watched us do this video. And the interesting thing about this video is a one-take video. So everything we did was in camera. All the people that came out of the Ritz had to rush down to get to the modern for the end of the video because we were using double extras. Tanya walked out. Everybody was walking around. It was kind of a 40s theme. And over here was a poster that we made which foreshadowed the end of this video. Tanya was being attacked by an alien monster. And up on the marquee we had her name. And we started to walk and Tanya rode with the dolly. And she of course is oblivious to all this stuff going on around her. A bandmate was sitting right here, leaning up, looking a little bit suspicious. And as she crossed the alley here, a big black car, a gangster car, an ode to the 50s gangster movie came in and they roughed this guy up. And he was begging for help, but of course she's oblivious, so she's just smiling and spending time. Here's uh, an old antique store that used to be here. Everything's changed quite a bit. A lot of these businesses have changed hands. Um, over here, Tanya came across a, a telephone booth, back when they had telephone booths, and another bandmate came in, and she uh, got sort of an alien uh, episode there with a bright light hitting her, and she was knocking on the window asking for help, but Tanya is just oblivious as ever. And here we come to the modern, and at this point, Tanya goes off camera and she gestures to this wonderful dance. And I happened to be one of the dancers standing here in a cop uniform, which is really fun because I was able to uh, direct the whole thing with a billy club and an old 50s cop uniform. And I danced with my wife Isabel and we did a little number here. And then Tanya came back in the scene and we went inside the modern. So let's go inside and take a look. Ah, uh, looks like it's closed due to mother nature. And that's why you see that bobcat over there cleaning the snow. This is one of the biggest snows of the year, so we're going to have to peek through the window. Went inside with Tanya riding on the dolly, and she went up to the bar and had herself a milkshake. And right next to her was Pat Dwyer, if you know him, from the uh, Grumpy's Bar and Grill. He was looking like a uh, 50s Irish guy. And as she got her milkshake, up pops an alien from behind the bar, bar if you want to take a look inside. And the alien was played by Matt, young Matt Young. Hey, how you doing? And uh, young Matt Young, he's a guy who plays in bands around town, lives around the corner. He was uh, happy to be the alien. She gets attacked by the alien, but she doesn't realize it. The, the, the guy behind the bar was another bandmate, and the chef, who tries to hit him with a, a rolling pin, was the fourth bandmate. And just as Tanya's about to get attacked, the song ends.
shine.